Good day, everybody. I hope you're doing well today. I sat down to pray this morning and I said, Lord, I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. Please help me, help me, Holy Spirit. So I turned to the devotional on the Bible Hub and it was Isaiah 48, 17, and it just hit home. It was so perfect for the moment. And I know if I need it, everybody needs it because this word of God is for everybody. So let's read it real quick and see what it says. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord, your God, who teaches you to profit, who leads you in the way that you should go. So it said that the profit means, to profit means it's profitable for you in the way that the Lord has for you. And who leads you in the way that you should go. He wants to show us what he would love for us to do in our life. If we have the heart to search for it, search after God, search after the things of God. He wants to show you those things. He wants to reveal it to you, but we have to be able to quiet ourselves down and say, Holy Spirit, I wanna hear from you today. I wanna to hear from the Lord today. It takes those quiet times, sitting quietly before the Lord, meditating on his words, to be able to, to understand how to hear the Holy Spirit, what his voice sounds like to you. In our spirit, it's just a, a hearing, a knowing. It's those things you have to practice. It doesn't just like, I mean, yeah, he can, and he has. Booming voice from heaven, this is what you'll do. It's happened. But sometimes you gotta just sit and say, Lord, I just need to hear from you. I'm gonna quiet my thoughts. I'm going to humble myself before you. Let me reduce, decrease, so that you can increase in my life. And seek after his face. And he wants to tell us, he wants to show us. He says right here, who leads you in the way that you should go. It doesn't say he can lead you in the way that maybe he thinks you need to go. Who does, who will, and who is leading you in the way you need to go? So let's dwell on his word today. I hope you're reading your Bible. It's so important. If you don't have the word in, inside, in your heart, and your spirit, What's the Holy Spirit supposed to draw on? So we can meditate on the words of God in our heart. Get those into your heart, get those into your mind, because yes, we need to renew the mind every day by the word of God. Can't do that if you don't have anything in there. You've got to open the word of God. You've got to get a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. It's so important. It's a relationship. So I want to encourage you to get into your word today God has good things for you. Let's seek his face today. We're going to come into his courts with thanksgiving and into his gates with praise. You're feeling sad. You're feeling depressed and, and, and the thoughts of the world are coming in. Fill your heart with gratitude. Just, just begin by saying, thank you, Jesus. I may not feel like it right now, but I thank you, Jesus. I thank you. And then just start listing everything that you could be thankful for. What did Jesus do for you? Everything he did for you, something to be thankful for. Him going to the cross. His, him just coming to this earth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lead me in the way you want me to go. That's my prayer today. And I hope you also make that your prayer today. I will see you at home, family.